Comparing human and chimpanzee DNA. Scientists say that our genes differ only about 2% with that of a chimpanzee. But how exactly do they know? In a couple of minutes you will know. First let's explain some more about DNA. There are lots of things that can be explained about it, but let's focus on the part needed to understand this subject. The building blocks of DNA are called nucleotides, and there are four types of them. Guanine, adenine, cytosine and thymine. Guanine and cytosine fit nicely together, and adenine and thymine fit nicely together. Together they form base pairs. Those base pairs form strings of codes. Lots of codes. In fact, the human DNA is as much as a full CD of data, but then wrapped up in a tiny cell. So small that you can't even see it. The strings are wrapped up in small spirals, and those spirals form chromosomes. A human being has 23 chromosome pairs. A chimpanzee has 24 chromosome pairs. The extra chromosome pair is because the human chromosome 2 consists of two smaller chromosomes in the chimpanzee. How does DNA change? Well first let's see how DNA copies. A tiny thing called a helicase opens up the base pairs just like a zipper. Then another tiny thing called a polymerase makes new DNA in such a way that they form new base pairs. In the end there are two strings of DNA that are exactly identical. Sometimes little changes occur, which are called mutations. There are different types of mutations. The first type is an insertion. A piece of DNA comes from somewhere and it gets itself included within the DNA string. The second type is the deletion. A piece of DNA gets out of the genome and is deleted from the string. Insertions and deletions together are called indels. The last type of mutation is a substitution. A piece of code gets itself replaced by another piece of code. So finally we get to the point. How do scientists compare the DNA? First we need to align the DNA, since they are not exactly the same. In this example we have found an indel. We don't know if it's an insertion or a deletion, so we just call it an indel. Some scientists consider this not aligned data and so they remove it. Here we find a substitution, and that is what is called the difference between human and chimpanzee DNA. We can express this in code, and computer programs can do this operation very quickly. In this example, we got a 100 base pairs aligned. The result is that 98 of these base pairs are similar. So only two of them differ. And since we have 100 base pairs aligned, we can just put a percentage sign behind it in this example. But to get to that answer, we have first removed 23 indels for the human DNA and 10 indels for the chimp DNA. Remember, indels are always different. So in reality we have an average of about 16% extra difference for this example. Does it really work like that? The answer is yes. All scientists in this field know how to align DNA. Some scientists do include indels, however there are also large parts of DNA that cannot be aligned at all. Those parts are usually skipped. This gives three ways of looking at the data. The first way is to compare only the part that can be aligned excluding indels. The second way includes the indels. The third way is to count the letters in the entire code. Here's a list of scientists who have reported very high percentages of a similarity. The first did not include indels, the others only analyzed a very small section of the genome. Britain in 2002 analyzed 846,000 base pairs, managed to align almost 780,000 of them, and reported a DNA similarity of 95.2%. But this means 8% unalignable data had been removed first. Ebersberger Yale in the same year analyzed over 3 million base pairs, got almost 2 million of them aligned and reported 98.8% similarity. But apparently 35% was too different to align. Jim Chromosome 22 consortium reported 98.5% DNA similarity and the amount of removed data was between 15 to 20 percent of the investigated genome. In 2005, scientists managed to analyze 2.8 billion base pairs 
which is actually the entire genome of the human and chimp, they got 2.4 billion base pairs aligned and reported a similarity of 95.8%. But again, 60% was too different to align and thus removed before analysis. Conclusion Excluding indels, the similarity is about 98.5%. Excluding unalignable data, the similarity is about 95.8%. In reality, the similarity is less than 81%. So the next time you see claims that we have 99 or 96% DNA similarity, even told by very reliable sources like National Geographic or in your local museum, you know what it means. Comparing human and chimpanzee DNA. Only 2% difference? That's how they know. Thank you for watching. You can find more information on my website geodetective.wordpress.com.